So we began our operating activities section last time by starting off with net income like you would for the indirect method and then we adjusted for accounts receivable. So we were slowly converting this net income figure on an accrual basis to a net income on a cash basis. The next step is we have to adjust for any other current assets. So let's go ahead and look at our balance sheet. We still have inventory as a current asset right here. So we're gonna adjust for this one next, 12,000. So it increased by 12,000 between 2013 and 2014. So let's go back to our cash flow statement and figure out what's gonna happen. So we're gonna put inventory right here and it increased, I think it was by 12,000, right? Yeah, 12,000, okay. so inventory increased by 12,000. And then of course, going by our rule of thumb again, is it a source or a use? Well, it's increasing and any current assets that increase are going to be a use. Why is it going to be a use? Well, if inventory were to go, were to go up, normally that's because we've created a journal entry like debiting inventory and then crediting cash. So the, the purchase of inventory for 12,000, and you can see here why that would be a use of cash. And if this was actually, actually inventory that was paid on accounts payable, which is a likely scenario, then of course accounts payable as an account on the balance sheet would be affected and we're going to actually adjust for that later on after we do our current assets. So it could be either one of these journal entries, but for now we're gonna treat it uh, like this, this entry so you can clearly see that it is a use of cash. And if inventory were to increase, or not increase, but decrease by $12,000, to show that it is a source of cash, is to look at the entry of what happens when inventory goes down. So if inventory goes down, normally this is because we are we are expensing inventory. So we would normally put cost of goods sold and then we would credit inventory. So right now you have to have like a very good awareness of journal entries when completing the cash flow statement. You can see not everything's so straightforward. So this cost of goods sold is an expense and it would already be factored into net income. But the thing is this expense does not involve cash as you can see. It's a non-cash expense. So it lowered net income. And what we would have to do is we would have to actually add back in $12,000 to actually not understate our net income on the cash basis. So we would have to add back in $12,000. And that's why it would be a source if our inventory decreased by 12,000. But it hasn't, it actually has increased by 12,000. So we're actually gonna say that this is a use of cash of $12,000. Next presentation, we'll be talking about, I think, current liabilities. See you guys then. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any of the material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate. You can like us on Facebook to receive updates or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.